Hey there, welcome back to this channel. I'm your host, Mr. Rex, and today once more we're diving deep into the fascinating world of social dynamics. We've all heard about Sigma and Alpha males, but what do these terms really mean? Are they just stereotypes, or is there more to the story? Buckle up, because we're about to embark on a journey to explore the Sigma versus Alpha male debate. Chapter 1. Defining Sigma and Alpha Before we delve into the comparisons, let's break down what Sigma and Alpha males actually are. In the realm of social hierarchy, the Alpha male is often depicted as the confident, assertive leader of the pack. They are dominant, outgoing, and exude charisma. On the other hand, the Sigma male is often considered the lone wolf, mysterious, independent, and not bound by social hierarchies. Alphas are known for their magnetic presence, leading with authority and confidence. Sigmas, however, prefer the shadows, operating on their terms and thriving in solitude. Chapter 2. The Alpha Male now let's take a closer look at the alpha male. The term alpha is often associated with strength, success, and dominance. These individuals are go-getters, thriving in social settings and commanding attention effortlessly. But here's the twist. Not all alphas are extroverts, and their leadership style can vary. It's not about being the loudest in the room, it's about having that magnetic, influential aura. Think of figures like Elon Musk, Dwayne The Rock Johnson, or even Barack Obama. These are individuals who've carved their paths, faced challenges head-on, and emerged as leaders in their respective fields. The Sigma Male Now, let's shift our focus to the enigmatic Sigma Male. Sigmas are often misunderstood because they don't conform to traditional social norms. Unlike Alphas, they don't seek the spotlight. Instead, they find strength in their independence. Sigmas value freedom and tend to be self-reliant, navigating through life on their terms. Ever wondered about fictional characters like John Wick, James Bond, or Jason Bourne? They embody the Sigma traits, mysterious, self-sufficient, and effortlessly cool under pressure. Chapter 4. Debunking the Myths Now, let's address the elephant in the room, the myths surrounding Sigma and Alpha males. Contrary to popular belief, these archetypes aren't rigid categories. People aren't simply Alphas or Sigmas. Rather, they fall on a spectrum with a mix of both traits. In psychology, there's not only black or white, there are many shades of greys. It's not about being one or the other, it's about embracing the strengths that resonate with you. Chapter 5. The Sigma versus Alpha Showdown All right, let's spice things up a bit. Should we? In the ultimate showdown between Sigma and Alpha, who would come out on top? Well, it's not that simple. In different scenarios, one might outshine the other. Remember, it's about adapting to circumstances. Picture this, a business meeting requiring charisma and assertiveness. The Alpha takes the lead. But in a survival situation where independence and adaptability are key, the Sigma might have the upper hand. Chapter 6. Embracing Both Archetypes So, should you strive to be an Alpha or Sigma? The answer is, embrace both. Life is dynamic, and situations demand different qualities. Don't limit yourself to a single archetype. Learn from the strengths of both Sigma and Alpha, creating your unique blend 
the Sigma Alpha Hybrid. Remember, it's not about fitting into a mold, but carving your own path. Be the best version of yourself, drawing inspiration from the qualities that resonate with you. And there you have it, folks. The Sigma versus Alpha debate demystified. If you enjoyed this journey, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, and ring the bell for more exciting content. Until next time, stay curious and keep evolving. This is your host, Mr. Rex, signing off from Leap of Faith Channel. Take care.